in the last video, we made this to-do list app uh, with Laravel Livewire Vault, which looks like this. Very simple. You can uncheck and check items. You can remove them. You can add new. Uh, very simple. Uh, I'll close that for now. I'm not going to use that today. Very simple. Um, in this video, we're going to use the chat feature instead of tab. So you can hit Command L and it will open it up on the right hand side over here, or you can just hit this button over here. So what we're going to do is go through some of the features of chat. So with the chat sidebar, what, first of all, you can, it will always add the current file. It didn't, it's obviously removed it now because I uh, did it, but the current file will be added to the context here. You can remove it if you'd like. Uh, one thing that you can do with smaller projects is ask it something about the entire code base and they have to make sure that in settings and in features we are resynced. Okay, so we're going to resync this to-do list um, component that we made. Okay, we can get rid of that. So now the context is there. Uh, we could say something like, um, I want to move this to-do list from the home page to forward slash to-do. And if I hit command and enter, it's going to actually add my entire code base to the context here. All of these files through Laravel are going to be added. And then it will give me the instructions on how to do it. So if I click on the web app here and then apply it, it's going to add that, command enter. So now we've got a root. It's going to return this view. So we need to go, uh, we need to create a view here. Okay, which is not actually giving me the code to do it. Sometimes it gives me the command to create the view. Sometimes it doesn't. So we're just going to go into resources, views, and to dos. If I can remember where I'm going, uh, new file, to dos. What was it? <laughs> to do dot blade dot php. Okay, and then we'll apply that in there. Oh yeah, I have to click continue, don't I? Okay, we'll do that. Now we need to mo modify the welcome page to add this. Oh, how do I do that? Oh, okay, it's clicking it. Uh, click reply, apply there. Okay, and it's because in my, if you remember in the in the settings video, I had put on in my global AI rules to give me branches for Git. It's trying to get me to set up a new branch for this, but we're just testing, so we don't need to. Uh, we'll save the web file, and head back over. Uh, and now the to-do list is in a new page, okay? The component works exactly as it did before. It's just on its own page. So that's how you can use the code base so, so it knows where to go to make make all these changes for you. Um, it's pretty, pretty seamless. And we've actually covered a lot of the features really quickly there in a couple of minutes of, of chat sidebar as well. In that, not only can you search the entire code base, but when you're in any of these files, you can click apply. And you can see here as well this, because it's given me a bash command to create a git a branch, I can just click run. I actually don't have a git set up on this yet, but if I wanted to, if I just did git init, uh, git add dot git commit and x, okay? If I wanted to run this, it would actually move me to a, a branch. And now we can make these changes completely separate to the main project and then we can do pull requests and things to so that we're not making changes that will break our site uh, so that's pretty cool that it gives me that uh, i very rarely use it I, I should use it more but i, I thought i yeah, just to try and remind myself to 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 try and use branches more in git so we've yeah moved it over to a new page so what we want to do now is show some of the other features so we'll go back to our to do uh this, this component here. Um, I'm going to do a new chat actually. Get rid of that there. No, close it. Okay. What I want to do is refactor this using some, maybe some best, best practices from Laravel, Livewire, because like I say, I don't know Vault very well. We, we just, I mean, Cursor wrote this. I just sort of like muddled through it a little bit. So I actually, in my settings, I showed you that I had this docs 
So I go to my docs, if I can type it. In docs, I have Livewire docs, which is the homepage to Laravel Livewire docs. And what I can say is uh, rewrite this component. And you can do at to mention a file. It's called it's called to do list. Okay. Rewrite this component to use Livewire Vault best practices. Okay. And then just send send that off. And it will go and find the right page. So look, it's found the vault page here. And it's written a, a refactoring of this function, of this entire component using Vault best practices from the docs. So let's apply that. It's making some pretty big changes. Um, okay. I mean, I'm just going to accept it and see where we land. Anything else down here? No, it just then at the bottom it explains. So in my, this is what I love about these AI rules, be terse and concise, right? And it tells me to, it tells it to give the answer immediately and explanations later, which is great because it just gives me the code. I don't want to scroll through loads of waffle. Stick the waffle at the bottom if I want to read it. Okay, let's go back. Oh, I mean, look at this. So it tells you now we've got how many are remaining. We've got colored tabs. If I click that, it checks it. We can add a new one. This is ridiculous. It's actually insane. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm literally just making this video up on the fly. I hadn't planned it out. So I'm learning along with you. It's great. Uh, that That's pretty cool. Uh, what else could we do here? Well, I'm trying to think what other features we haven't actually used here. Um, we could do, um, okay, let's have a little look here. I'm going to move that. Search the, uh, search the web to try and style this form more like Shad CN. I see everybody in Next.js using this Shad CN. Um, and I can't use Next.js, it blows my brain. So, um, Vassell style black and white um, with a pop of color. All right, just see what it does. Okay. So, let it search. Searching a bunch of different pages here. And then see if it can actually figure it out. Again, I'm just doing this on the fly. Haven't really got a clue what I'm doing. I'll be honest. And I would just have to see how it works and if it works. So it's spitting out some code. And honestly, this is like, this is so much fun to me just to, to see it do this. And, and Composer, when I show you a video later, is just like, it's insane. It just like, it just makes me feel happy. <laughs> Okay, so we'll apply that. Um, we're just going to accept it. And what does it say at the bottom? It's just given a list of different things. Okay, we'll head back to Chrome and look at this. I mean, it's not really, I wouldn't say that's particularly a Vassell style. If you go to like um, Vassell.com, you've just seen some of my projects. Don't look at the address bar there. It's not really this kind of style. Oh, shoot, you've just seen a bunch of my sites. I'll have to blur them out in post. <laughs> um, but yeah, this looks pretty nice. It's pretty cool. So you can, it's just styled it up a bit nicer. It's still not quite the cell style. And uh, well, maybe, hold on. Um, in fact, this guy, dub.sh, uh, no, .co, isn't it? I love this. I love this. I love the design of this project so much. And it annoys me how good it is. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of it. Okay. Take a screenshot there. Um, and then go back. Nope. Go back to cursor. Um, can you try and use Tailwind to style it more like this? And then I'm going to throw in the image. Look, you see the image has been added there. Now, sometimes it shows the full image. Sometimes it shows this little thing here. Um, they seem to be iterating on that, trying to figure out the best way. Sometimes you can actually see the full image, and I actually prefer that, I think, because I, I know what, what I've sent. 
Um, but let's try. Let's send that through. Okay. Okay, so it's now hopefully looking at the image and then trying to figure out some styles based on on the image. And we'll see how it goes. Apply that. Here we go. Big changes. Save it. I mean, no, it's not great, is it? <laughs> but these are the things that you can that you can do with cursor. You can throw in images, um, and it can infer things from the images. It's not always going to get it right. That's the thing. But these are just features that you can you can do. Um, maybe I will have a look at their docs. So, what kind of docs you got here, Stephen? No, nothing there. Solutions, product. Oh my god, this this drop down is so cool. And um, let's do, let's just see. Let's take a photo of just a drop down. Um, can you make it more minimal? Black and white, stylish, like this drop down. Example with grays. Gray borders, right? I just send that in, and after this, I'm just gonna have to accept it for what it is. I'm just, I'm just trying to show you the feature of adding images and how it can sort of understand the images and use them in your code. It's not always gonna be perfect. <laughs> okay, this is this is the last attempt. Come on now, I'm saying cursor, but come on, Claude, you've got this, mate. I, I believe in you. Okay. So then we apply that and come hello high water, this is the final version of this tool. That's over here, isn't it? I mean, it's a little bit, I mean, it's more like it was before. It's fine. <laughs> it's still not quite as good as this, but it's got the, it's got the gist, it's using some grays. Uh, I would have liked it to do a black button perhaps, but maybe I didn't show it that example. But I think that's pretty cool. Yellow. Um, oh, one thing we could maybe do as well, just for just for lols before we go, is um, can you make the priority editable? All right, send that. This is the last thing we'll do, uh, just to show how you can iterate on features that it's generated as well using the sidebar. Okay, so look, it's adding an update priority function in here. It'll tell me about it at the bottom, so I'm going to go back up and apply this. This is the one thing I don't like about the, the, the chat, is that you have to scroll back up to find these things. You can actually, I think, turn off in the settings that it will scroll down. So maybe, in fact, I thought I had that. So I'm going to change that, but we'll apply that, save that, head back. Uh, and now we've got a little toggle, so you can change these. Lost the colors, but we can obviously get that back if we wanted to. So you can change the priorities and stuff. Um, and obviously we could then start to look at maybe adding um, sorting based on priority, so you can see what's the most pr uh, pressing tasks you've got to get done, which would be obviously core mum. And that's it. Uh, that's the sidebar chat. I think it's pretty cool. I've used it quite a lot. It's for me, much better. Um, it's better than Composer. Composer is like multi-file edit, which we'll we'll do later. It's a bit more advanced, um, but Chat is a bit more controlled. So you have a bit more control over what changes to make. You can give it a bit more feedback. It's not just going to go off and just go carte blanche. It's not got carte blanche to just bloody change loads of files, and then you're just a bit confused about what's changed and where. It's very much like click here, go to this file, add this change that, do this, it's much more sort of like step by step. Um, but you can add as much context as you need. And I, I can see here each time I was doing it, it was actually sending in the docs from Livewire to try and figure out the best way, way to do things. And like, I didn't even know about this computed uh, function here 
because I've never used Vault before. So just little things. Sometimes it might ask me to extract it out, like the form into a component and stuff. This time it didn't. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So that give the chat window a go. It's uh, This is how I started using Cursor to, to get to grips with it. Chat is great for just hitting the ground running, figuring out how to work with Cursor, how to make changes, how to click to apply. And then when you understand it and you sort of get, get the idea, you get the bigger picture, you built a few things, a few little projects or whatever, you can upgrade to Composer, which is like... I mean, it feels like the reinvention of the wheel. I'm sure I'm sure I said that in one of the other videos, but like it genuinely feels like that powerful. So let me know if there's anything else you want to learn about chat or anything else to do with Cursor and I'll try and do it in a future video. Cheers.